Hello and welcome to day 93 of our Divi 100 marathon. As promised, we have another wireframe UI kit for you to use in your project. Now, these wireframe kits are so important because they save you a lot of time. So when you're designing a website, ideally, you want to design your prototype first, get that approved, and then move on to developing the website. So these wireframe UI kits actually help you do that. Now, we have previous ones which were also published. If you haven't seen those, I'll link them in the show notes below. Let me show you how you can use this wireframe UI kit. In order for us to use the wireframe UI kit, we need to download the files first, unzip the folder, and then import the files. Now, the link to download these files is provided in the show notes below. So let's go ahead and log into the WordPress install of our website. So as you can see here, I'm logged into the back end. So next, you need to go to Divi and then click on Divi library. Click on import and export and then click import. Choose file. Now, as mentioned before, I've already downloaded these files. Uh, so what we need to do here is to install the all.json file because this file includes all the uh, DV wireframe uh, kit and also the home page wireframe. So let's go ahead and double click on all.json and then import DV builder layout. So what this is going to do is it's going to install all the um, sections that we need and all the examples that we need for our wireframe. Okay, so these are all the sections that we have. Now, uh, one of the things that you can do with this is, obviously it's quite difficult to, um, to work out which sections you need to use as you build your website. So the quickest way to, uh, to do a quick preview is to go ahead and click on uh, one of the sections. Like for example, here I'm on um, the number 17. So I'm gonna click on it. And then when it loads up, all you have to do now is to right click and preview. So as you can see, this gives you an idea of what that section looks like. So what you need to do now is to go through that whole process and make a note of all the sections that you need to use. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and create a page, and then I'll show you how to add these um, sections onto your pages. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead to uh, pages, add new, and then I'm gonna call this volume three. And then I'm going to click on use the Divi Builder. Right, so the first thing we're going to do here is to take a look at how um, all the sections look that come with this pack. So I'm going to go ahead and load from library, add from library. And this is where now we have this uh, wireframe UI kit volume three. So if we load this, pretty much we're going to have an idea of all the sections that are included in this uh, UI kit. So I'm going to go ahead and click on preview. So as you can see, as we scroll down here, this is an idea of uh, the sections that we have uh, for this UI kit. So now that we have an idea of what this looks like, let's go ahead and see how we can build our own pages. Okay, so we are back here onto uh, volume three. So I'm just gonna um, clear this layout. So now, to start building your page, um, you can start by coming here to where it says add from library, clicking on that, and then you can start choosing which elements you need to choose. As I mentioned before, if you make a note of them by number, it's quite easy because you can just come here and just click on say one, and then add from library, maybe you need a call to action, it's number 10, add from library, uh, a bit of content, add from library, and then finally, maybe testimonials. So once you're done with that, I'm just gonna close, I'm just gonna get rid of this one because it's blank. So once you're happy with that, all you need to do now is to click on publish. And then you need to view the page. So as you can see, all the elements that we uh, added are all now on this page. So you can go ahead and do this for the remainder of the pages. So say for example, you've made a mistake or you want to change this um, header section. To get rid of it, all you need to do is to expand it and then just delete it. Now, as you can see, we have uh, text in here and it's quite easy to go ahead and uh, customize this text to 
the project that you're building. So let me show you quickly how you can do that. So if I go back here into the edit, we expand, and now this is the text that we have on that section. So if you go into the uh, module settings, you can actually go in there and customize this text to whatever suits the project that you're working on. So there you have it. This is how you download and install this wireframe UI kit. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and also do follow us on our social media platforms. We will be producing more and more of these videos to help you and inspire you to build amazing websites. Until the next video, thanks for watching and see you soon.